hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to paint this winter morning landscape scene in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create this soft sun glow and how this sunlight reflects on the snow so we will also create this sunlight reflection and shadow pattern on the snow and finally we will paint some bad trees and branches and I will show you how you can choose the colors of the trees to create the effect of sun shining through the trees. So these are the few brushes I am going to use today in this tutorial. This is the head brush which I am going to use to wet the paper. Make sure you have different size of round brush, at least one large, medium and smaller size. And also you will need one rigger or detail brush to paint pear trees and branches. Now let's talk about the paints you will need. This is the cadmium yellow, yellow orange, then mix of cerulean blue and cobalt blue, burnt sienna and sepia. Quickly sketching the scene, not going into much of the details here. Now I am applying water on the top part of the paper using the head brush uh, so we are going to paint this sky in wet in wet technique so do this part very religiously make sure your paper is evenly wet there is no puddle on the paper and if you feel that your uh, your paper is getting dry in between the painting then make sure you apply the first coat of water and then wait for some time and apply second coat of water uh, before you start the painting so now I have picked up some yellow paint and started to paint the sky I have applied the yellow in circular motion first so this would be our Sun now you can see the yellow color just spread across this circular space so I am removing some I am lifting some paint with my clean round brush and every time I go in I am cleaning my brush again so remove the some of the paint from that circular area and then I am applying some more yellow paint around that circle. Apply some more yellow paint at the bottom part of the sky and around the sun. Now I am mixing some cerulean blue and cobalt blue and I will start painting the top part of the sky while the paper is still wet. Wet in wet technique is one of my favorite watercolor technique and I use it all the time especially while painting the sky or paint, applying the base coat or painting on a larger area but you have to be very quick otherwise if your paper is dried out before you uh, completely blend out your color then it will create hard edges and your bending uh, will not look that smooth. Uh, as you can see this blue part and yellow part of the sky are not looking that blended together so now with the clean damp brush I am blending this blue and yellow together and make sure uh, your brush is only damp and it doesn't hold any water otherwise it will create the blooms in your already painted sky. Uh, and now you can see how this blue transition beautifully in the yellow and then the orange and that's the beauty of the watercolor sky part is still wet I am painting some background bushes and trees I'm using this orange near the Sun and as I go further from the Sun I will add some brown to this orange mix quickly adding some more trees while this background is still wet and I am adding some more brown to the mix as I move farther away from the sun. Now 
now I am adding some more brown paint to the trees which are farther away from the sun to create the contrast. As you can see this paint blends so beautifully with the background because the background is still wet and it will create this smooth blending and no harsh line at all. Now with the lifting technique I am creating some sun rays using my smaller size round brush and I am just lifting the paint and cleaning my brush and again going in and lifting some paint. Now the sky and this background trees are dry. Let's paint uh, the snow part. I am again using wet in wet technique to paint the snow. Uh, so I am using this hack brush. You can use hack brush or maybe the large size round brush to wet the entire area. This sunlight is falling over the snow and I want to capture how this sunlight reflects over the snow. So uh, with the large size round brush, I am applying a very lighter tone of cadmium yellow over the top part of the snow. Next I am adding some orange to this yellow wash and blend uh, both together. Next I am mixing some crimson with cobalt blue to paint the shadow effect over the snow. I am painting this shadow part again wet in wet while the background yellow wash is still wet and make sure you leave those yellow spots in between and don't paint this snow part entirely with the blue. Keep painting this shadow effect with the blue and make sure you leave this yellow spots in between and now i am just speeding up this part of the video where i paint this shadow part of the snow with the blue Now that our sky is done and our 
snow area is also done let's paint some bare tree branches using regal brush i am using sepia for the trees which are away from the sun and i am keeping my brush strokes very random and broken in between to create more natural effect And as I move towards the sun, I add some orange to this brown and painting this bare tree so it will uh, create the effect of the sun uh, shining through the trees. Uh, so now that you have seen the process of painting this pear tree branches uh, I am just speeding up this entire part again uh, so it won't take much of your time Now these trees are all done, I am adding few twigs and dry grasses on the snow here and there. Figure brush is really useful when you want to paint tree branches or twigs or grass or stuff like that. So the painting is done here. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, then you can drop it in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. It will be very helpful. Thank you so much.